everyone. Welcome back to Sasha Sense. My name is Sasha. I'm glad that you're here today. Now I'm doing a video that I normally don't typically do only because I try not to do anything that's negative. I like to keep things really positive on my channel, but I've had a lot of people reach out to me wanting to know which perfumes in my collection were not the best performers. And so that kind of gave me an idea to share with you some of my fragrances that just don't perform very well. Now they all smell incredible. Otherwise I would not have them in my collection. So I want to get that cleared up. These smell fantastic. The scents are gorgeous. It's just performance wise, not so much. But anyway, welcome to this channel. If you enjoy fragrance reviews, a little bit of beauty and style, please take a minute to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then you know each time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. I'm going to share with you the fragrances from my collection that, you know, just, I don't know, they just don't perform very well. I wish they did a little bit better than they do, and they don't, but that's okay. All right, the first one I'm going to talk about is Tobacco Collection, the Rich, Warm, Addictive Eau de Parfum by Zara. Now, this fragrance smells absolutely delicious i love this one it's got this rum it's got peony there's also some bourbon vanilla in here this is one of those fragrances that you want to spray on and maybe sit by the fire you maybe have your you know a date or maybe your significant other you're just hanging out on the weekend you want to relax this is a great fragrance this is not one I recommend spraying on and going out for the evening because this one will disappear really, really quick. At least it does on me. And I would love to know your guys' honest opinion. If you have any of these fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, I'd love to know if they are poor performers for you as well or if you actually enjoy these and they do great for you. Now, I'm jealous if they do because for me, not so much. Now, these are all like four hours or under, you know, so that, in my opinion, kind of is a poor performer. But anyway, this one, probably two hours, three hours. If I moisturize and I'm lucky for whatever reason, I might get up to four hours with this one. But like I said, this smells absolutely incredible. It has that tobacco note in there, which is slightly sweet that mixes beautifully with all of these other notes. So a great, great fragrance. All right. Now, let's see. Next, we are going to talk about, let's see, which one am I going to bring up to you guys? I think we'll go with this one. Viva La Juicy Gold Couture Eau de Parfum by Juicy Couture. This one is a fantastic gourmand smelling fragrance that tends to lean a little bit on the youthful side, but that's okay. You can wear fragrances. I'm going I'm to be 56 and I like wearing this one occasionally, you know. Perfume has no age, so wear whatever makes you feel good. I always like to say that because sometimes people will write me and go, you know, what perfume should I wear for my age? And then when I first started this channel, I actually did like a perfumes for 50 and up. And then afterwards I realized, you know what? You can pretty much wear whatever you want to wear, what makes you feel good. But anyway, love the notes in this one. It opens with this wild berry that really stands out. And then as it kind of warms on your skin, you're getting some honeysuckle, caramel, as well as vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. So really nice notes. And you guys that know me well, I always say this, anytime there's vanilla, amber, and sandalwood together in a fragrance, I don't know, I'm just addicted to it. I love that combination. All right, what I don't love so much is that this has really poor performance. I get about two hours on my skin and it is gone. It might as well just be a body spray because it just doesn't last. And that's unfortunate because it really is a nice smelling fragrance. Do you have it? Does it last longer in you or are you having the same issue with this one? So I, like I said, I wish it lasts longer. It does feel a little youthful, but that's okay. Love it. Smells great. Smells edible, delicious. You'll definitely get a man's attention when wearing this one. I'd wear this if you're going on a, just a, maybe a coffee date. If you're meeting someone maybe for the first time, you'll leave a lasting impression. But if you're going to a dinner and maybe a movie and all that, it's not gonna, it can't keep up with you. So anyway, 
there you have that one let's go on to the next one which is a very expensive fragrance so i wish this one lasted a lot longer than it does and i'm talking about elixir pour femme or de parfum by Roja dove this is such a beautiful feminine fragrance it's elegant it's soft it opens with this gorgeous bergamot a little bit of raspberry some peach there's some violet jasmine a little orris some cashmere now there's a lot of notes in here it has a tiny bit of spiciness that you're going to pick up from cinnamon and then there's a little bit of a woodiness in here from the cedar this is a stunning feminine gorgeous sophisticated fragrance that just disappears so quickly on my skin i rarely make it between two to four hours with this one it just vanishes really really quick this probably is a great one if you are staying at home and you're having a romantic evening with your spouse and you put this on it's very soft it's more like a skin scent so when they're really close to you they're going to get wafts of this it is a beautiful like i said very feminine femme fatale kind of scent that is just mesmerizing but a lot of money little performance but gorgeous all right next we've got ceruti 1881 other toilette by ceruti i really love the way this fragrance smells i've mentioned this before just bad performing just doesn't perform well it has like this mimosa that mixes with iris you're going to pick up a little bit of violet some jasmine hints of geranium there's a little bit of musk and amber in here as well as sandalwood and vanilla stunner really really nice this probably is one of those fragrances that if you're maybe going to just grab lunch with a friend and you're not going to be out in about too long this is the perfect choice this is really pretty it's soft just an all-around great fragrance i get two maybe four hours on a good day with this one which is unfortunate now I've heard other people say this lasts a really long time on them so you're really really lucky if you're one of those because it is a great fragrance just not on me it just doesn't perform but I still love it I have it in my collection so all right moving right along this is a unisex fragrance and I do have a couple unisex fragrances for you guys I think I mentioned the first one the one from Zara that's a unisex fragrance and this is also unisex this is Memoir d'un odeur or de parfum by Gucci this is a really unique smelling fragrance it has this gorgeous chamomile accord that mixes with a bitter almond some musk there's a little bit of florals in here you get jasmine and then you're getting this beautiful vanilla and sandalwood as well as a little bit of cedar in here so really really nice this is one of those fragrances that i think would smell really good if you're just going for a workout at the gym but you want to smell clean and fresh but you want to smell different than anybody else this is a great one um especially if you don't work out for a really long time because i don't think this one would be able to keep up with a super long workout but just enough to kind of you know lift the weights you know walk the treadmill chat with a few people at the gym that kind of thing or just shopping for a couple hours with a friend great other than that you're not going to get a ton of performance with it but it is an incredible smelling fragrance i think they did an amazing job with this one but like i said if it performed better it would just be probably on my top 10 if it performed better but it just not so great all right next we have idola on the parfum by navidus and the creative director for this particular fragrance is buck from big beard business and i have to compliment him because he did create an amazing beautiful feminine fragrance that's a little bit mysterious i think it's sexy it opens with a beautiful orange accord some bergamot you'll pick up on some rose some jasmine you got a little bit of fruit in there some peach which is really ripe and then vanilla as well as patchouli and a little bit of vetiver and cedar in here so really really well done this one unfortunately on me i'll get up to four hours but then it's just kind of faded it's gone which is unfortunate but this is nice if you want to go out with maybe you're going with a few people out to dinner for a couple of hours this is gorgeous put on a pretty dress you're going to feel elegant you're going to feel very feminine 
and then by the time you get home it'll be gone but it's beautiful he did an amazing job stunning fragrance all right next we have cognac cafe Eau de Parfum by Galleria. This is a unisex fragrance. So if you love coffee and you love licorice and cognac, this is a fabulous smelling fragrance. There's a little brown sugar in here. Like I mentioned, there's almond, coffee, licorice, cognac. There's vanilla, cedar, and myrrh. Stunning fragrance. This is great if you're going to meet a few friends, maybe at the coffee shop. It's cold out. Maybe it's raining or snowing. You spray this on. You're going to immediately be transported into feeling cozy, really content. This is a stunning fragrance. But just as quickly as you put it on, you'll notice it starts to fade pretty quickly. It becomes a skin scent within the first half hour. If you place your wrist up close to your nose you'll be able to get wafts of it but it doesn't really project strongly it like i said gets really close to the body and then by the time the four hours is up you can't pick it up anymore which is really unfortunate because i think this is a fantastic fragrance so if you're going for coffee and a pastry for a couple hours and to catch up with your friends this is a good one to wear especially if it's cold out super cozy all right the last one on my list is Nirvana Amethyst or the Parfum by Elizabeth and James. This is one of my favorite fragrances because of the tobacco note in here. Now this is a slightly sweet tobacco. It mixes with a honeysuckle. You're going to notice some woodsiness in here, some cedar, as well as some spices, which really add to this particular fragrance. I absolutely love the whole experience. When you first spray this on, it definitely projects pass in arm's length and it stays that way probably for the first half hour but then you'll notice it quickly starts getting closer and closer and closer to your skin and before you know it you can't smell it anymore i get a, up to about four hours on this one i've had days though where i've worn this and it's like two hours it's gone so it just i guess all depends but it's a beautiful fragrance especially if you love a tobacco this is fantastic great for the cooler evenings maybe going to a movie with someone on a date it's it's really really nice hopefully it's not a you know two-part long movie it's just enough to watch the movie and maybe grab a drink afterwards and go home this is perfect but anyway there you have my fragrances in my collection that just don't perform well however they all smell amazing otherwise like i said they would not be in my collection i really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and remember that one spray can literally change your day. Have a good one and I'll see you again real soon.